Welcome to the Movie Recap Channel, today we will recap a 2021 movie entitled, Die in a Gunfight, where the story evolves in a young guy for the daughter of his father's enemy. The movie begins with introducing Ben Gibbon and his history of brawls, his needs that he chose to feel through violence and his experience about love. As the love was gone he was back to where he started, fighting. Ben is being beaten by three men and he is bleeding badly. He stopped for a moment and lit a cigarette and he checks his pulse and when he feels that it is still beating he triggers the leader of the group and they continue to beat him. At night time, Ben is in a car wearing a beautiful suit with his friend Mukul. They are going to party where they are not invited to because Ben had an restraining order which means he is not welcome. At the party, Ben's mom, Nancy sees him and asks what he is doing there when he knows that he is banned from such events and his dad, Henry, sees him and he wants Ben to leave because it will be cause an uncomfortable situation when William Rathcart sees Ben and says that Ben is trespassing. They are all worried and threatened about Ben's appearance. In the other places of the house, Mary Rathcart is sitting alone, drinking champagne in a corner when her mom, Beatrice sits beside her and she wants Mary to mingle with men for her to not look miserable. A flashback from Mary's life appeared, from the day that she first disappointed her parents to the day that she fell in love with Ben to the day that she left the country to leave Ben after their plan to leave to go to Mexico failed and how Ben broke her heart by not replying to her letters. A flashback about the Gibbon family and Rathcart family blood feud begins, where it started from their ancestors. Over the years, their families continued the dueling and it was always personal. Ben's father, Henry excused himself and Ben. He told his son that he's a grown man and he should act like one and then asks him to leave. Ben's mom, Nancy is still confused about Ben's appearance. Ben was about to leave but McCall reminded him about the coats and the people started panicking because apparently, Ben stole the coats again. They grabbed as much coats as they can. A flashback about Ben's side about Mary's disappearance began. Ben tried to contact Mary while she was in Paris but he never received any reply and he finally lost chance when he saw a tabloid about Mary's whereabouts in Paris and that's when Ben decided to go to Mexico using the ticket they bought and tried to end his life but he failed and that's when he met McCull and they never left each other since. Back at the Rathcart's home, William and Beatrice are badmouthing Ben while Mary listens like an obedient child. William reminded Mary that Ben's return won't change anything about her and Mary had to agree about everything they say because it is the part of her return. Mary goes to a club where she started dancing and drinking. Ben found an invitation in one of the coats and the invitation belongs to Mary and that's when Ben goes to the club where Mary is. While Mary is dancing and having fun, a guy appeared and interrupted her fun, his name is Terence. He asks Mary to come with him in a private room where they can talk. Ben followed them and he stayed outside the room and that's when he met Wayne and Barbie. Barbie wants to play with him and Wayne is toying him. He asks Ben on how he wants to die and Ben says that he wants to die in a gunfight. Wayne continues to mess with Ben and Ben feels uncomfortable and wanted to leave but Wayne and Barbie is forcing him and continues to play with him. Back inside the room, Terence admitted that he followed Mary to the country and he forces himself to marry. Mary pushes him and he shows Mary a ring, he is proposing to Mary. Mary keep on pushing Terence away but he still doesn't give up. Mary asks Terence to leave her but he still forces himself to her. Outside the room, Wayne keeps bugging Ben and threatening him. He asks Ben to dance with Barbie and then Wayne and Barbie started to kiss in front of Ben. Wayne started to provoke Ben into fighting him and Ben says that he wants out and then Ben is flying across the room ruining the Japanese-like door of the club and Wayne gets on top of him and then kisses him the punching him after. Ben notices Mary and says hi. The next morning, Mary is in Ben's apartment and then Ben wakes up grunting with bruises in his face. Mary asks Ben questions about his apartment then she walks to Ben's bed and asks him why he didn't write and Ben asks her a question on why did she left and Mary did not answer and tells him that he should wash his face. On the news, a possible whistleblower will be giving statement with the media talking about what she knows about Rathcart Corporation. To resolve the problem, William Rathcart asks Terence for help to resolve his whistleblower problem and Terence agreed to help William thinking that he can have Mary after the deal with William. Terence asks William to give Mary to him and William agrees only if Terence get rid of the whistleblower. Back at Ben's apartment, Ben gets out of the shower finding that Mary have left. McCool says that they should get going because they still have to go to Nancy's brunch. At brunch, at the Gibbons' home, Ben's dad expresses his disappointment on Ben and Mary's the night before while at the Rathcart's home, Mary's dad also expresses his disappointment to Mary and he drags Mary out of the dining table because Mary doesn't want to approve the distraction her father wants, to marry Terence. That night, at their own rooms, Mary and Ben is contemplating about their decisions in the past that results to the moment they are now. 
Mary searches for the old ticket that they have when she and Ben was about to leave to go to Mexico and she decided to pack her bags and then Ben shows up to her window and then Ben confesses to Mary and asks her to go with him. Mary thinks about Ben's proposal but her dad interrupted and he kept knocking on Mary's door and when her dad enters the room, Mary and Ben already left. Mary and Ben is in a diner, looking at each other, not knowing what to do when Ben got an idea to take out the awkwardness. Ben thought that they should act like it's their first time meeting each other and then Mary did what he said and she introduces herself to Ben like it's their first time then they laughed and then Ben asks about the guy that she's with the night before and then that's when Mary tells Ben the story of Terence on how he introduces himself to Mary and Mary also tells the story how her dad wants to say yes to Terence and then Ben's nose started to bleed and then Mary goes in front of him and they started kissing as the sprinklers turn on because of the fire from the kitchen. As for Terence's deal with William, Wayne who happens to be Terence's hitman pulls up outside Ben's apartment to return Ben his wallet from last night and when Wayne go inside the apartment he sees two shady guys inside and asks for Ben and he found out that they are looking for Ben too then they started fighting because they mistook him as Ben. Wayne fought the two guys and before leaving Ben's apartment he leaves Ben's wallet in the side table and he rushed outside and leave and the two guys followed them. Then Mukul enters Ben's apartment, looking for Ben. Ben and Mary enters Ben's apartment, Ben introduces Mary to Mukul then Mary leaves to change her clothes and Mukul asks Ben if there's a problem and Ben says nothing. Mary enters Ben's bedroom to change clothes and asks Ben to look away after changing clothes, Mary saw a joint on Ben's table and asks if she can use it and Ben tells her that she can and then Mary asks Ben to punch her in the face and Ben did not want to. Mary keep on asking Ben to punch her but Mary punches Ben and she asks Ben to punch her then Mary started crying asking Ben why he never wrote back and Ben tells her that he never got her letters and then Mary apologized and realized that it was her father's fault. They kissed and made love. Outside the room, Mukul received a call from an unknown caller asking about Mary. The next day, Ben wakes up with Mary standing at the end of the bed and they plan to leave and they also plan to get married. Unexpectedly, Ben's mom, Nancy came by and they tell Nancy their plan on getting married and she asks questions about their plan. They didn't want a big wedding and no families are invited but Nancy insisted that they should have a ceremony and wear a nice clothes for their shotgun wedding. On the other hand, Wayne backs out of the deal with Terence because Barbie died from the chase last night and the two men shot Barbie and he wants revenge. Terence did not want to cancel on Wayne because he wants the whistleblower dead that day but Wayne insisted, he wants revenge for Barbie. As Wayne goes out of Terence's building, the two men who killed Barbie went up and he instructs the each of them to find Ben and Mary and to kill Wayne. The first man follows Wayne inside the cinema, as he attempts to kill him, Wayne sees him and they fight and it ends up with Wayne killing the man and when he checks the man's pocket, he sees the card of Terence and he immediately wants to kill Terence for revenge. On the other hand, Terence goes to the hotel room where Pamela, the whistleblower stays and he kills her inside the bathroom then a security knocks and asks for Pamela then Terence opens the door and kills him too and left. Ben's mom, Nancy, call a few people to prepare for Ben and Mary's wedding. Nancy brought a dress for Mary and a tuxedo for Ben. She then tried calling her husband to inform him that Ben is getting married, when Henry is not answering the call, she tried calling Mary's mom and left a message about Mary's wedding and how Mary would want her mother to be there. As Nancy's message gets into Beatrice's phone, the other hitman that Terence hired heard what she said and he calls Terence and tells him about the wedding. Terence was furious about the news so she calls Mary saying that he will get her and he asks for a chance but Mary did not want to and ends the call then he calls William, Mary's father, asking if he knew about Mary's wedding to Ben, William tried to explain that he did not know but Terence did not let him talk because Terence is mad and jealous of Ben. Inside William's office is Wayne, he is looking for Terence, he came by William's office to threaten him and to point out where Terence is and when they found out where he's going, they left and goes to the chapel where everybody is going. At the chapel, before the wedding starts, Ben sees Mary and Mary tells him that it was bad luck to see her before the wedding but Ben did not care. The wedding begins, Mukul is their officiant, he prepared something to make his friend's wedding special. As the wedding started, Terence came, he points his gun to Mary and threatens her and Ben gets in the middle to protect Mary and his mother, he grabs Ben and punches him and points the gun at him then Wayne and William came by, an officer saw them came in, the cop looks at the two with suspicion and then Wayne enters the chapel where he find Ben and Terence brawling. Ben is kicking the gun away from Terence to prevent him from firing it and Wayne steps in, he kicks the gun farther. Wayne says hi to Ben because Ben recognizes him and Wayne asks if Ben got his wallet then he explains that they have a common enemy, which happens to be Terence. Wayne asks the women to sit down and look away as he plans to kill Terence with a gun but before he fires his gun, the officer shots him as he fell down, 
Ben runs up to Wayne and Terence runs up to his gun to kill Mary. McCall tried to stop Terence using his knife and by punching him. Wayne gives Ben the gun and as Terence fires his gun, jumps and gets in the way and he got shot by Terence and McCall holds Terence's and tries to stab him but he also got shot when Ben jumped, then Mary goes to Ben and she gets the gun from Ben's hand and shots Terence one more time and Terence is now dead. Ben expected that his life will flash as he feels like he's dying but the only thing he saw was Mary. Mary and Ben are together, Mary is driving the car and Ben kisses her. They are both happy.